everybody, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So I've talked a lot on my channel just about prioritizing protein, getting more of that in, but I've never really given you like how to do that. So today, that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give you three tips to help you increase your daily intake of protein, and then I'm gonna show you three different ways that you can calculate it. So let's jump on in. My first tip for you is to make sure that your carbohydrate sources are also high in protein. One of my favorite ways to do this is by eating edamame pasta. So I know a lot of us have heard of Bonza, that's like the big brand, and that's a chickpea pasta, and that is a great resource, but that protein content is actually a lot lower than edamame pasta. If I'm remembering correctly, a chickpea pasta usually has like maybe 10 to 12 grams of protein per serving. And then edamame pasta is gonna have up to 25 grams of protein per serving. So you can see it's like at least double. Now, personally, I don't mind the texture of not wheat pasta, but I know that a lot of other people do. So if you do wanna try this, but you're not totally sure about the texture, go half and half to start. Make some normal pasta, make some edamame pasta, mix them together. This is actually a great tool for a lot of things. Like if you wanna do cauliflower rice, but you also want the texture of normal rice in there, mix them together. So you're gonna get more of your veggie and your carb in there. One of my favorite meals to make with edamame pasta is gonna be edamame pasta with some chicken breast, with some pesto sauce, a little asparagus, some Parmesan cheese, Parmesan? Parmesan cheese. It's absolutely delicious and I believe it's upwards of like 55 to 60 grams of protein. So that specific meal is not only gonna keep you satiated and help build your lean muscle mass, but it is also going to hit a lot of different macro and micronutrient profiles. Second tip is to pre-cook your protein for the week. I highly recommend doing this because it's gonna take the work and the guesswork out of your week. I talk about this a lot with my nutrition clients but part of the reason why we don't achieve our goals is because we have too many decisions to make. So by the time it comes to our food and we've made a thousand decisions at work with our family, with our pets, and we just wanna eat something, we're gonna have decision fatigue and we're going to choose the easiest thing. So why don't we make it easier for ourselves and just have it already pre-cooked in the fridge? Personally, I prefer to do this with something like chicken breast. I, on Sundays, will take them, put them in the crock pot, let them cook for eight hours, I shred them up, put it in the fridge, and then it's just ready to go and it's super versatile. And you can also do this if you're vegetarian with something like tofu or tempeh. But again, I really like this prep because it's gonna take all of the guesswork out of it, but it's also not such a severe version of meal prep where you're eating the same thing every single day and then you get sick of that meal. So you do get to have a lot of variety, but you're taking a lot of the work out of the work. <laughs> And my final tip is supplements. So I don't wanna like beat a dead horse because I know I've talked about this in like every single video, but a really easy way to increase your protein intake is by using a protein powder. So I used one in my smoothie this morning. And the one that I always recommend to people is gonna be Organifi. Just a heads up, I am an ambassador with them, but I wouldn't be if I didn't believe in their product. And you can use the code Justina to get 15% off of any order. Now their products can be a little bit pricier because it is a really high quality product, but if you are looking for something a little bit lower in price, I do have some other options linked down below. All right, so let's calculate some, some protein. Yeah. I'm gonna walk you through three different ways that you can calculate your protein. We're gonna start with like, I don't know how we wanna rate these, like the most intense way into the most like intuitive kind of lax way. I like to give people options because everyone has a different comfort level with things like body weight, with things like numbers, with things like tracking. So I just wanna make sure that everybody has something different that works for them. So the first way is by using your body weight. The current recommended dietary allowance or RDA for protein is 0.8 grams per per kilogram of body weight. Now keep in mind, this is the bare minimum. I'm talking like, this is enough just to function properly, okay? In my opinion and personally, and a lot of other people recommend this too, whether your goal is weight loss or just to like build some lean muscle mass, I would recommend sticking more in like the 1.6 to 2.2 grams per kilogram of body weight. And if you're an athlete or someone who just trains at like super high intensity for a long period of time, you're probably gonna wanna go even higher than that. Now, if you are in America, you're probably like, um, uh, kilograms, mm, we don't use that, yeah. So it calculates into, I think it's 0.73 to one grams per pound. Let's do an example. Let's say you are at 150 pounds and you wanna calculate your body weight based off of that 0.73 to one 
gram per pound. That means that you wanna aim for about 110 to 150 grams of protein a day. Now, let's say that you don't know your weight, you don't really feel comfortable knowing your weight, but you still wanna calculate how much protein you should be eating. That's where the second way comes in handy. So I totally understand if you are somebody who doesn't really feel comfortable knowing what their weight is. So using a percentage might be the better option for you. Keep in mind that this does require you at least calculating your daily caloric intake. Now, if you are not comfortable with even knowing that number, you're gonna wait until the third method. Now, I have talked all about how to calculate your daily caloric intake in this video right up here. So if you need to understand that or know how to do that, after we're done talking about that in this video, you're gonna click on that one right up there and figure out your daily intake. Now, once you have that daily number, 20 to 30% of that intake is gonna be protein. So let's do an example together so you can actually see how this math works out. Let's say your daily intake is 2,000 calories a day. So we're gonna take the range of 20 to 30%. So 2,000, don't make fun of me for doing math on my calculator. 2,000 times 0.2 is 400. 2,000 times 0.3 is 600. So you're gonna be getting four to 600 calories from protein a day. Now that doesn't really help you because like we don't really think about counting protein that way. We're gonna convert that into grams and then that's how we can actually count it. Now, the only thing you need to know is that um, protein is four calories per gram. So we're gonna take our 400 and we're going to divide that by four. So that's gonna be 100. And then we're gonna take our 600 divided by four, that's 150. So we're gonna be aiming for 100 to 150 grams of protein a day. And then our final method is going to be the hand method. So this is actually something that was created by Precision Nutrition. And essentially you can track a lot of different things with your hand. More specifically, we're just gonna focus on protein today. So a serving of protein is going to be the palm of your hand. All I want you to do is focus at every meal on getting one to two servings or one to two palms of protein, and that's it. So this is definitely going to be much more of an intuitive way of tracking your protein. Obviously, and I've said that again in this video right here, it's the least accurate version, but it is something that I find is very sustainable, it is very intuitive, and again, it's this whole idea of addition rather than restriction. All right, so that is it. I hope that this video was helpful in just giving you a little bit more manageable approach to increasing your protein intake. If you wanna know more about the why behind protein or carbs or fat or anything like that, anything about nutrition, let me know in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any content. I need to finish eating, I'm very hungry. Bye!